Hey guys, it's Panda. I know it's been a while since I did a video. I know I recorded um, an unboxing of a music player that I got a while ago, about six weeks or two months ago. Um, I didn't really have a lot of time to mess with it and play with it and test it out before I had to um, resell it. So I didn't get to do a review like I wanted to. I was going to do a unboxing review combo thing with that, but... I didn't really get to do the review, so I might not upload the unboxing. I'll have to see. Um, I actually got a music player that I saw on Dank Pods that he had recommended. It's like basically um, kind of like similar physically to the iPod. It had like a metal body and it was really heavy and heavy duty solid music player, hi-fi music player. It had a click wheel on it. Um, it had like a it was basically just for music playing. It had a digital screen that you could see the album art, but it didn't really have anything else like features on it. Um, so I had to resell that. And then I had, uh, about a month later, I, I was lucky enough to find like a newer model of it that was like, the one that I first got was the Fio X1, which was the very first model that Fio had come out with like that. So it was like a really, um, old-fashioned kind of throwback collectible type of thing and then I found um, after I resold that one I found actually the the X3 uh, version 2 which was like three or four years newer than the other one so it had more features it was a little bit bigger it was um, silver and it had like the quick wheel on it um, and it was in pretty good condition. I did get to use that for a while, but I didn't get to do a video on it um, Like I wanted to I actually had to resell that as well because um, I actually sold it for more than I paid for it though So I was kind of lucky on that But I, I had to resell it because I got $150 for it when I sold it and I needed the money for my power bill as usual You know the story if you've seen my channel for a while I basically don't have the luxury of collecting or, or buying anything just because I really want it anymore. I have to um, basically resell everything I buy because I don't have the choice to just keep something that expensive anymore. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's why I ended up with now I only have my one smartphone, my one prepaid smartphone that I got about six months ago at the most um, and had to sell all my other phones that I had because I didn't have the option anymore of just keeping anything that had any value um, and I'm kind of just now starting to get to the point where I don't really have to do that as much because I've got enough work online that I can kind of keep up with my bills now um, you know like I said I don't really have a lot of expenses I mean it's basically just my rent my electricity uh, power bill and my prepaid phone bill and my groceries and, and toiletries and my medicine and my online stuff which is literally just YouTube premium that I've had since it started because I watch YouTube like 18 hours a day and I could not do that if I had to watch ads so I pay for YouTube I pay for Amazon Prime because it's only $6.99 I think if you if you qualify for the discount version so I, I have that, and I have um, Patreon that totals, for several people I support, totals about $15 a month. And that's about it. That's all I pay for online. So um, I don't have a lot of expenses, but what I do have goes over my income. So I always have to come up with some kind of money every month to try and scrape by. And if I need anything extra at all that is not a regular monthly expense, then I have to really... Um, like sell stuff or really cram to make money or whatever so I just started making enough doing online work that I can finally like pay for my bare minimum expenses <laughs> hopefully I won't have to keep selling stuff anymore and I can finally start to actually improve my setup and improve you know the things that I've needed replaced for a long time like a, a vacuum cleaner a, a you know upgrading or getting a new laptop because my laptop is literally from 2015 <laughs> Um, and it would just be nice to be able to get upgrades on stuff, but anyway, enough with the gabbing. Um, this is basically the, the 
the music player that I found after doing a lot of research that I was able to afford that was a third of the price of the one I sold and is uh, probably going to be better for my needs even though I really really wanted one that was like metal and tactile and had the click wheel and I really wanted something that was more you know for people who are fidgety who wanted to have something like buttons and click wheels and stuff but I can't do that so I'm just going to settle for this and I've heard that this is a really 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 good quality touch screen basically a smartphone except you can't install your own apps on it so you have to use the browser to go to websites like YouTube which I'm I have I don't know how that's gonna work I'm gonna have to test it out but anyway I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and I will do a review on this because I'm not gonna resell it it's not really worth reselling at this point it's not it doesn't cost that much so anyway I also got um, an SD card for it and a pack of stickers for this new show that I just got done binging about three or four days ago. Everybody is obsessed with it. It's called Squid Game, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I highly recommend you watch it. Find somebody in your family who has Netflix if you don't, because it's really a binge-worthy, tissue-warning tissue TV show that... I don't even know why it's called a TV show. It's not on TV. It's on Netflix, but... It's a show that I think I really hope continues because there's a lot of unanswered questions at the end of it. Um, I also found um, a hoodie and, a, and a, a hoodie that I really want that has my favorite character on the front. And then also uh, a sweatsuit that looks really comfortable that, that is a replica of what the characters wore in the, in the show. I want to give both of those things. I'm going to try to get them when I get paid. Hopefully I can get at least one of them because I really, really want it before it sells out. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that if I am able to get one. So anyway, this is a pack of stickers I got from Squid Game because um, I love these sticker packs that you can get that are super cheap and have like 100, 100 stickers in them. So I'm just going to go through these real quick just for a little appetizer. We'll see what kind of stickers I got here. I don't think there's going to be any spoilers, hopefully, in the sticker pack. This is... Oh, that's the main character's number, I was going to say. There's some guards. Gift box. A lot of these... These were um, on, on a lot of the hoodies and t-shirts on Amazon. This design... And I got some more guards. Lead uh, headman or whatever he's called. This is my favorite character, Sabiok. She's pretty badass. This is the main character. And some abstract, cartoony characters. We got the doll. We got a weird logo that doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We got more headman, more logos. This is cool. This is the villain, in my opinion. One of the villains, anyway. He's not any worse than the, the other villain that I'm not gonna. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to spoil by saying anything. <laughs> Because I've already seen it like four times. Oh well, that's just a crappy misshapen logo there. Some of these are really dark and hard to see because they're like just Chinese, cheap Chinese printed stickers. But some of them are cool. I love I love putting these on notebooks, and I also have like a trunk that I have a bunch of my journals and stuff in from when I was a teenager that I put stickers on. I like to collect stickers like this to put on stuff. I wish they'd make these um, like movie poster style ones a little bit bigger so you can see them. Well, that's a good one. I like her. I like that one. Any of you guys seen Squid Game? Let me know in the comments. One of my favorite things to do after I watch a show that I really like is to watch the reactions on YouTube. So I've seen a bunch of reactions. Like, I've seen the reactions like a dozen times. 
of different people, so I, I've seen it quite a bit. I pretty much know every everything that happens by heart by now. Hopefully you guys can see these. I haven't really been keeping track on the camera, but... They have, as far as I can tell, there's two different packs of stickers. So I think there's another one that has slightly different stickers than this one. But I think there's just mostly the same. Once you get a, a pack of them, you pretty much have most of them. But I might try for the other one at some point. We'll see. I got several packs of uh, Billie Eilish and Last of Us and Cyberpunk. I think I got like eight different packs of Cyberpunk because I was so obsessed with Cyberpunk for a long time. I still kind of am, but it's kind of wearing down a little bit. <laughs> so, okay, now moving on. I got this SD card to put in the player because it only has like eight gigs of memory or something. I'm really impressed with the box. I didn't I was kind of surprised when I saw it because there's no indication on the on the Amazon page that this is the kind of box it would be in. I just figured it would be in a white box. But um, yeah, so it's got eight gigs, one gig of RAM. It's a four-inch screen, 540 by 960 pixels. That's kind of a weird dimension, but. Yeah, it's a uh, Tim Koo digital music player. I think this exact model comes in two different brands. I just got the one that I saw the most um, reviews on on YouTube. So this one had some good reviews. I have not opened it yet, even though it's not sealed. Usually they are, but I'm trying not to open. Try not to ruin the box. Okay. Oh, it's okay. There we go. I got the white one because I thought it would be more silver. I wish now that I would have gotten the yellow one or the bluish green one because those are pretty colors on there. But yeah, this is definitely not silver. It looked more silver on the on the page. So I kind of wish I would have gotten <laughs> a different color, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably put a case on it. I think it comes with a case. It's supposed to come with a case. It's funny they have that there where there would normally be a camera. That's kind of weird. It feels like a sticker. I'll have to look at that. But anyway, I'm probably going to decorate the case if we get one here. It's supposed to come with one. I don't see one. So that's going to be another negative. <laughs> that's going to be a negative on that. Most people on YouTube had a case in theirs. So I'm not sure why this one doesn't. Um, I guess I'll just have to decorate the player then oh unless that's a sticker that I can take off then I might just leave it but it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be comes with a manual I'm pretty sure it said it had a case on the page too so I'm gonna have to look at that but um yeah I, I'm I'm kind of regretting getting white because I normally don't get white anything but it's okay I'll I'll decorate it myself with some stickers or something it's a pretty thick manual, um, and then it has a uh, USB-C charge cord, so that's good. And comes with earphones. That's pretty cool. I probably won't use them though. They're they're super super cheap. <laughs> clicky clicky uh, percussion is is what. Dank Pods calls them kids' percussion. <laughs> it's not working very well. I'm playing music, so you probably can't hear it. It does have a braided cord, which is interesting for something that's that cheap. Um, I'll probably try them out, but I've got so many other headphones that these would probably be garbage compared to what I have. 
but I'll try them out and uh, let you guys know in the review what those are like and it comes with a few earbuds so yeah that's about it for that let's check this out it's got a glass screen um, a couple of soft buttons down here um, oh wait a minute I think the case is already on it it looks like hold on yeah I'm pretty sure well it's awfully it's it's like it's got a clear opaque um hang on what the heck okay well it's definitely got a clear opaque protective shell on it I thought that was the case because it's so thick um, everything's really inset, like, in here. But I guess it's part of the player. Maybe they changed it from including a case to just being already on there. But these are, like, why do they make it orange? I think I can take this off, actually. I'll work on that later, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think they just made it a... a built-in case this time let's turn it on let's see what it looks like we got one speaker headphone jack charge port volume power button that's about it oh sd slot right there okay the incorrect <laughs> but we'll uh We'll correct that. So let's turn up the brightness to begin with, if I'm able to here. Settings. Display. Brightness. There we go. Font size large, so you guys can see a little better. Sleep after 10 minutes. Okay. and find a decent picture here. Oh, sweet. You can have live wallpapers. You can load your own wallpapers. pretty decent screen it's probably better than the first smartphone I had which was a note 2 looks pretty uh, pretty good I wish they had more black screen or wallpapers because I don't like bright white ones but yeah Sorry, I'm very indecisive when it comes to stuff like this. Okay. Now, another... It's got Bluetooth, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got, um, like, audio settings when you, when you play music. Um, you can... It has, like, a re music sound recorder, ebook reader, clock, calendar. Uh, you can play videos on it. Um... File transfer over Wi-Fi, all kinds of stuff. It's got a browser, so you can go to websites. Somewhere, anyway. <laughs> I was told they had a browser. Um, so, yeah, probably once I hook up the Wi-Fi, that'll work. But, yeah, that's about it for this. I just wanted to show you guys what this was like, and I will do a review on it soon. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned. I'm going to try to do a Halloween video where I just do like a newer uh, tour thing and an update vlog type of thing. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned for that. I hope you guys all have a good Halloween, and I will see you guys next time, whatever next time brings. Peace out.